What is going on everybody? My name is Will from Ghost Hack and I am the proud owner of a very nice kalimba. Now obviously you have to be a musician of supreme skill in order to play this instrument. <laughs> so you know, naturally it's uh, gonna be a walk in the park for me. I just realized that this is not even. Look at this. Hang on. No, wait, wait, wait. Just hear me out. Look at this. This is straight at the bottom, straight at the top, straight on the side. This is at an angle. Am I one to question the great kalimba? No, but I am one to make a beat with it. So I have used the provided tiny hammer and tuned my kalimba down to D minor. And I'm going to try to make a hip-hop beat from there. May turn into a full song, may turn out to be garbage. Stay tuned to find out. Okay, so I had an idea for this melody that I want to try, and I specifically tuned my kalimba so I could do something like this, but it's going to start out like this, and then it's going to go into a... and then... right? And then I wanted to start back here, but instead of doing that, I'm going to spice it up, and I'm going to do that, and then just uh, step down, like that. So if we have a little metronome going here, it might go a little something like this. But obviously play a little bit better. But I'm going to be perfectly honest here, I did not choose an easy pattern to play on the kalimba. It involves switching my fingers around either side, and I'm all thumbs right here as you can see. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to play these and I'm going to play them individually and just hold them out so I can uh, you know, put them directly on time in the project itself. I think it's going to be a lot easier for me. I'm sorry that this isn't the performance of year, but I'm just you know working with what I have here. Let's go ahead and start recording. All right, I've recorded the individual uh, little chord note hits of this right here, but I've recorded them pretty like right on beat together, you know what I'm saying? So instead of going like this, they're hitting like exactly on beat. So I wanna record the same thing, but I want them to be slightly off rhythm. So you get that classic sort of, no, let me, let me play a different note here. So you get the classic sort of thing that a kalimba does when it kind of strums. So let's go again. It's hard to get the strumming right when you're just using one finger, or thumb in my case. All right, kalimba's recorded. Wait, 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 wait. You know what though, while I'm at it. Gotta get the percussion. Okay, cool, now we're actually done. All right, we've got it. Now it's time to arrange it. Let's normalize it, make it a little bit louder. There it is. There's a little bit of noise in the background of this, but I don't think it's going to be a problem. Now, hopefully this melody idea that I had in my head is now sort of coming together for you guys. So, you know, you like you, you, you see inside my brain. So you are now hearing what I was hearing in my head. I keep using the wrong shortcuts. I've been doing too much video editing. Oh God. All right. So we got two pretty cool loops. We have the loop that I made with the kalimba where I was hitting them at exactly the same time, or at least close to the same time. And then the version where I kind of broom strummed it a little bit. I personally like the second version better, but maybe we'll mix both of them together. That'll be cool. And then these, I can deal with those later. Let's take an EQ to them. Throw a multi-band compressor on them. Do some nice good compression. Actually what I did is I re-recorded some of the kalimba hits again so I could pan one of them hard right, one of them hard left, and we get this. It sounds a little better when you have the strummed ones. And for like a hip hop beat, that works really well because vocals are gonna go dead center and it won't mess up those. So I'm gonna put the one with the uh, sort of clean right on beat hits to the side because I like the ones with the strum hits. Now it's beat time, baby.
All right, so we got the basic beat down. It's sounding fire. Uh, the only thing I added after that is just a little sauce on the hi-hats. I took in another hi-hat. Right, that's stereo, this one's stereo. And then I have that playing a few uh, licks in between the drum loops. I also have this reverse kick that is going back into the kick like midway from the loop so you can hear it. Oh, and also a few slide notes on the 808 to keep it interesting. I can't actually play those. So the next thing to do is just to start affecting these things. Now I have some stuff going on with the kalimba, such as an EQ, a compressor, and a patcher, which is doing some mid-side EQing. But I also want to add the chorus. Ooh, I really do like this just default chorus sound. It sounds all watery and dreamy. But what if we added the halftime? If you're into making beats, I'm sure you know about halftime. It's a great tool. I can dig it. I can dig it. That adds a cool texture. But it does need a tad bit of reverb. Just a dash. I'm also gonna add a little bit of this delay. Right now there's a lot of it, but I gotta take it down. Just to add some more texture and rhythm to the whole thing, and I can just mix that in. Whew, kalimbas, man. I can also add the initial reverse plugin, which I believe this plugin is free. All it does is reverse whatever goes into it by uh, the speed you set it to. See, it's uh, going in reverse, but I can mix it in. And sometimes what I like to do on hip hop melodies, not always, but I like to pull up uh, the glitch plugin, uh, Glitch 2, and I like to just initialize the preset and then hit random and see what kind of stuff happens. Like there's some interesting stuff in there, but I want to try a different one. No, this one's weird. As weird as it is, I actually kind of like it. I wanna just mix it in here. So this loop came out of a kalimba. but I do still want to add a couple more things to this uh, instrument, to these instrument layers. This guitar plugin, Ample Guitar M2 Lite, is actually free. It's a free plugin and it's not half bad. It's obviously not the same as a real guitarist, but I mean, hey, we can't win them all. So I'm just going to throw the chords in here. They don't uh, work all the time exactly as, you know, you plan them to. It's like, that sounds good. Oh, that sounds even better. That sounds pretty good. I'm going to uh, turn on double. So we get a little more width in here. I actually want to do that pattern in a different uh, instance of this plugin. So it's not the perfect guitar, but it is a guitar. Let's hear how it sounds. Okay, EQ this guy. Yeah, make it a little more subtle. Throw the chorus, I need the chorus. Mmm, that is smooth. I need reverb. Before the chorus. Ooh, that sounds good.
I actually want this to be in a different channel from the other guitar because this one is a little less stereo. So I'm going to just copy uh, this mixer track state and drop it into 18. A little less reverb, a little more high end. Ah, and we encounter the problem with this plugin is that there is a bit of delay. So I'm gonna to have to take these notes and I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just scooch them aside just a little. And what we can add to this because it's mono is the pancake. Let's see, where is this? Pancake two. Honestly, I might just leave it at default. I'll just mix it in a little bit. And you know what, I'm gonna just do the classic compressor sidechain or limiter sidechain where I sidechain uh, directly from the kick channel cause it's just hip hop, like it's not gonna be too much of an issue. So I can sidechain to this guitar. Yeah, and right now I kind of only want to sidechain to the guitar melody. So I'll just open up the limiter and compressor, go to insert one, which I routed. So that way the uh, kick still has a little bit of punch while it's not messing up everything else. The last thing we need is some kind of synth pad in the background. As much as I thought this wouldn't work, it actually sounds kind of dope. I don't know if I'll keep it, I just wanna place it down. It's constantly kind of shifting and changing too. Yeah, no, I don't want to keep that, but I want to do something like it. This seems to be much smoother. Ooh. I enjoy this one. I got to EQ it though. I gotta give it the chorus. Mmm, sounds good. Oh, listen to how good those sound with the effects. These, that was the, uh, the loop that was hitting a little more on time. Oh, that sounds awesome. Here's what I want to happen. Let me make sure I have copies of each on both sides. I want uh, that loop to hit on all the small ones, but on the ones that are, uh, that are longer and bigger, I want to be the strummed versions. There's room for a little vocal chop though, so I wanna add that. I can get some vocal chops from Ultimate Trap and Hip Hop Construction Kits Volume 2, that's Ghost Hack. I kinda like that. So there you go, I made a beat with a kalimba and a few other things. So let's give this a final listen. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this beat, you can hit the like button. If you have other ways and other ideas of which you think it would be cool for me to make a beat, let us know in the comments down below. We love reading you guys' suggestions and we like making videos with them even more. Wait, I forgot, I gotta get a thumbnail. Yeah, that should be fine. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Happy producing.